I want you to make sure that on your second move, you're jamming your pinky towards the ball. So as Max was just saying, it ends up right in your throat. Way too many of you guys have the ball up here in the top of your stick, unacceptable. So first move, snap down, a little less, right? Because I'm not. Snap down and then we're gonna lock that pressure in. Tight second move. Try to get all the way to 12 o'clock and if you guys want, you can finish it with a nice clean exit, all right? If you don't have the technique down, just focus on the first move, nothing changes. Like for you guys, first move only, all right? You're not extended like that. Make sure you get over it, all right? Dominate that area. Down. Good. Better stance. I like it. Hug this set. Nice. Yep. And do like just barely. Any pressure. Aim right there. Set. You see the difference? It's way better. Jump. Now don't step, right? You want to get all the power going this way, not forward. Make sense? Like watch him. Let's see if he does it. Down. See it, JP, eyes on. Set. It's pretty good. Do you notice that you pop up with your shoulders? Try to get down. Down. See it, boys. Set. Good. Don't get too extended though, right? You wanna to try to stay relatively tight on your first move. I know it's not, it's not always gonna be perfect, but you wanna to try to stay a little bent with this arm. Yeah, try not to bend it out though. Bend straight towards your chest. Down. Not a lot of pressure. Get your elbow up a little. Good. Set. Hey, that was a really good job getting down the line. Really sink through the list. Down. Kind of like it was 50 yeah. 50. Yeah. So, down. what you want to do is really snap down like that and then rotate over it. Oh. Set! So, the ball is still in the middle of your stick and down the line hard. So, it gets to the throw. Good job. If you really light on your hands. Set. Good, Tom. Better. Down. Set. Part of it might be that six pretty pinched up here because I felt like you shot your right hand down, but going forward, that's got to be a red flag. Like if you see the ball right there, you got to know I got to get it more towards there, right? You're just going to have way more control. All right, we're trying to be a little bit more technical and surgical when we're tied up. So if we start half clamps, both of us, Max is gonna play offense first, all right? So that means he makes the first move. So for me, how many guys see guys hold in tie-ups? Right, let him over rotate off the ball. So what I'm gonna try to do is keep pressing my hand to the ground, right? Squeezing my right glove and pushing my pinky towards the ball. So down, I'll call it for him. Set, go. Right, so that was his first move. That's pretty good defense. Now, he has to hold for me. Bang. Now you go. Right? And I have most of it. And what I want you guys to experiment with, Max, you play D this time. On your first move, really try to get straight over that ball. Get as much as you can, get your sidewall underneath his. Right? If you have a little less, so say I don't do a great first move, right? And I want to go again. On my second move, try to get that left hand up. Remember, there's a couple different ways we can get underneath his plastic, going down the line, pinching up, and then over-rotating, or out-rotating him, I should say, so we could top over that ball. So experiment with those three things, try to get around that ball, and make sure you guys are going one move at a time. So he's not gonna be calling the face-offs for you guys. You guys are gonna be setting it up each time, just alternate between who plays O and D, got it? And guys, take it one move at a time and figure out like, okay, I'm here. Now this next move, I really gotta throw my left hand. I really gotta pick my left hand up. But don't just go, like Joe and I had a long pause in between each turn, so make sure you're pausing and you're thinking about what's going on. Yeah, you don't wanna go much quicker than that. Like, it's yeah. a, you don't need to be in a rush. It's more so so you guys can kind of assess and experiment with how to get underneath his stick. Think of it like chess or checkers, like he made a move. Now I'm making a move to counter what he did. Chess or checkers, I like that. All right, you got those guys over there. Whoever wants to do stand up, you guys are with me. So for stand up, who knows what we're trying to do? What? So you could do stand up to counter, right? 
What I want to teach you guys is to be a little bit more offensive with our stand-up stand. So, do you guys know Daniel? Does anyone know where he goes to school? Yes, Holy Cross. So he played. He started for them this year. Took how many face-offs did you take? 250. Did you see a lot of guys doing stand-up this year? Right. A lot of guys in college are now doing this because if someone is better than them at just moto grip clamping, the win percentages are going to be higher or the, the disparity, like if I'm better than him at clamping, I'm probably going to do much better than I used to because of the top to stop rule. So by them spacing out the face off, right, the guys who are better at that moto grip right hand punch are probably going to win a lot more. So a lot of guys are trying to change it up and take a different strategy to the face off by going stand up. So how do we be offensive from the stand up position? What do we want to try to do? We could rake it out quick, but then we don't have a ton of control. What do we do when we, we get the ball knee down? What do we do with our left hand? We pinch, right? So I want to teach you guys to pinch and pop from this position. So everybody grab your own space. Make sure if you put your arms out, you can't touch anybody. So the premise of what we're doing remains the same, right? My left foot is still where I'm going to kind of push off and get my body over the ball, right? We're driving off of our left foot. My right foot is kind of just opened up and that's where I'm planting off of. So what I want you guys to think about is both toes pointing right to the ball, right? And we're gonna sit down and see how my feet are kind of, they're a little wider than shoulder width, right? If I hold my stick all the way at the throat and the, or, yeah, the throat and the butt end, it should be a little wider than my knees. Now we can, what's up? You could, but I don't think you have as good a grip. What I've actually recently been doing, I just put my thumb on the shaft because you can't grab the plastic, and although it's a huge advantage, I'd rather you guys just get good at not grabbing the plastic. So I go thumb on the shaft, so I get a little extra press down. And like I said, get those feet a little wider, right? And now just rest your elbows on the inside of your knees. Does this feel comfortable? Now think about our knee down stance. Where do we put our head? Look up at me while I do this. I turn, and see I want to kind of continue to creep up. The neutral zone doesn't start until the throat of my stick. I want to be as close to that throat as possible. So just like when I'm knee down, my head is right over that right glove, right? And that'll allow us to drop all of our weight straight down on the ball. So let's line up. Nice, easy neutral grip. What I want you guys to think about doing is just kind of pressing in and down that line a tiny bit, right? So as I do that, and the goal is really just to get this bottom edge underneath the ball. Now, if I can get that, any knee down clamper who pushes at all, like if you guys watch tape on somebody or watch a kid at a tournament, and you see his right hand come across the line, you should be like, oh man, I could get this kid with stand up all day, right? Because if I just press this down, you see how my, my under or this bottom sidewall goes right underneath that stick, or underneath the ball. If he pushes it all, he's gonna give me the ball and I can just pull it right out forward. That's why some people are really good at this. So what we wanna do, we wanna press that right glove into the ball and all we're doing with our left is coming straight up, right? We don't wanna come out because then we're wrapping around it and you see how I don't get the full ball that pinch. We wanna come straight on top of it so we can drag and pop that out. So I want you guys to do 10 times slow motion. It's gonna be, stay in your head, down set and I'm going to press and just pinch and as soon as I feel like my left hand is getting over that ball then you can wrench up nice and tight and drop my weight right over it. Make sense? Too much talking over there. Let's go. You guys should be practicing. So see how you just were really out of control? Watch when I do it. Slow, slow, bang, wrench, right? So slow it down. TJ, you want to stay down, set, go for it? No. Set. Go. Ah! Now you're good. Go. And what'd you guys see that I did with my left hand? I picked it up, right? So when we go against somebody who's going stand up, the only way not to push that ball into a stick, because if I stay low, you see how I naturally come forward a little bit? I had to come straight up. You know he's trying to pinch, so we got to match that pinch. So you guys get to practice stand up and defending against it. All right, partner up. Yeah, TJ, you go down. Yeah, there's one in the backpack, a couple. Set. Pinch. Oh, you got to rinse that stick you had all of it. Good job. 
Down. It's in that very front pocket. The face off factory backpack, the very front pocket. Don't be going through that big one. It's like clothes in there. Set. Right, hey, so see how look at your weight. What I want you to do is get those legs back. So now see how it's easier to pinch yeah. versus you're like creeping up and now you're short, you're falling forward. That's not what we want. Down. Get that hand as close as, yeah, as close as they like, yeah. Set. Good, you see the difference? All about your body position, good job. Ready, down. Set. 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 So there, when you pass, then you're, you're overextended, and then if you're coiled up, then you can bring that left hand up and get to your feet, and then you'll have that clamp. But you want to keep your body over the ball. So if you're, you're overextended like this, which allowed him to be jammed, but if you're over it like this, and you keep that left hand up, then you have the ball. Yeah, because if you're most of it like that, then you're here, then you come to your feet and you put it wherever you want. Where if you're extended, you don't really have any problem. Set! Set! Good jam. I'm gonna take these guys, horseshoe down here. I'll take these guys. Yeah, like do the reps in a horseshoe and then we'll switch for the tournament. That sound good? Set! Do you wanna just do them? We're gonna do best two out of three. Set! Come here. Your first move is really, really good. What's up, buddy? What's up? How you doing? Your, fir your first move is great, Matthew. Really good rotation. Look, you're in perfect position. Now you gotta wrench your left hand, like watch. You sit on it with your left hand up and he's able to get underneath you. Pinch, if you're gonna commit to getting that hand up, pinch the ball. Good, pinch, get to your feet. I wish I filmed that one. You have all that ball, squeeze your hands, right? Hop and get out, why are you waiting? You wanna score goals? Yeah. Right, get out, good job. What, yeah, that was three, do you need a reef? Set. Pinch, nice job. You gotta round it a little quicker. All right, rotate left. Look at how cocked your wrist is. I don't think you need to roll it back that much because look, see how your punch is out of control? Look at his, he just punches straight to the ball. So don't curl like this. Little cock is fine. You still want to snap down, but this is not going to win you face off. I even want to take it out. I can pop it I mean, you guys take Set. Hey, against him, take your left hand out right away. Alright. I mean, he was a little quick on that one, and he is quick. Watch your hand. See how low it stays, yeah. and then he rakes it out. Alright. Yeah. Set! Go ahead, Reese, pinch. Nice job. Come here, you weren't that far off on this rotation. You could probably get out a little quicker. Come here. Look. I extended my arms really far. Yeah, which you made up for it right there, right? Look, you have a lot of that ball. He just out, out rotates you, so right here, pinch, right, rather than wiggling, just commit to lifting that left hand and getting the ball down there, good job. Down, set. Be careful, you wanna roll into it a little bit. The technique looks pretty good though. Like, see how you kind of, look how much lower you are, and see how he like drops in, it gets a lot of extra force. Mm -hmm. Like your elbow, flare, right? Flare it, snap. 
Rotate. Less cock in that wrist, Graham. Set. Pinch, get out. I think you pushed a little bit on it. Come here. I threw it right into his stick. Yeah. Right. That's not bad. You got down the line pretty well, right? Right in your throat. Can I keep it's, my left hand down? Yeah. Right there, out of hole. Look, you go, look at the log. Right in your stick. Pull that out. Pinch and get out. Down! Down, Christian. Pinch. I like it, nice aggressive rotation. Come here, watch him get down quicker than you. This is better, you're not you're starting a little higher, right? Yeah, I can tell. Look at the difference, see how you get your head down? Now if we can eliminate this pause right there, see how you freeze for half a second? Just drop down right away, look at your shoulders. You're still on your knee, we, you're on both knees. Push off your toes and you clamp. Pinch, Luke, good. Come here. Watch you get down the line more. Right, look where your hand comes. Forward, look where his hand comes. Damn. Right, That's snap. All I've worked on all season. Just snapping into the ball. I lost every face off the season for that. Really? Let them go first. Down. Set. Good pinch. Hey, little cleaner, right? Get your weight over it so you can pop. Come here. Watch where his right hand goes. What? See, he kind of beats you to it. That's better reaction, but you get no top edge down, right? So you start, squeeze, and try to get that head above the ball. All right. Set. Your left hand is off the ground. Watch. Ooh. I mean, you're punching straight forward. Look, see your both hands? He goes, look, watch his stick. It goes towards your, his right hand goes towards yours more. Yeah. Right? This is rep. This whole match over right here. Set! Pinch, Sean. Hey, so rather than pulling that on the ground, set your feet and get your weight over it, right? I put my knee back It was the same thing. That felt terrible. Yeah, you drop it down. Cause they don't rip it out and I, I wrote it's not a bad off. first move I like so look see how he goes more down the line though yeah. you're coming forward try to eliminate this shoulder turn see that yeah. because you're that? not getting square yeah. right there push down and pinch that aggressively drop your shoulder and your head over it. shit let's go five yeah. you gotta hold him account you should have told him shit You see him, you know that's coming, pinch that left hand. That was quick. No, I, now you know because he showed you that he doesn't. So lift that left hand up next time. Down. Bump this out a little more from the wall, yeah. I need to not allow them to bring, put their bags out here. Yeah. I need to do a better job being a good example of my bags out here. <laughs> Set. That was a great jam. You got to get out quicker. Those the CEO is like. That's the only downfall. Uh, your first move looks pretty good. Yeah, that was a little too there, much yeah. shoulder turn, right? Yeah, he did get under you. Yeah. You did the classic, just jam your your throat down over the ball. The best thing to do. But yeah, no, no, that's fine. But you got to get out. Yeah. Or's really good at that. You rolled into that one. Yeah, one hundred percent. Watch your shoulders. Me? See, you're moving. Wait, me? Yeah, you. He's moving too. Look at, look at, look no at. way. That was fair. Okay. I'll All right, we're good. Set. You think? Hey, time to right, we're good. Set. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Right on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Set! Early, let's go. Down. Hey, try not to float your. Set! 
Pinch. Get around. Get around. Pinch. Good patience. Good keep patience. going. Keep going. Good. Alan, you gotta keep driving. Keep driving over the top. Good. <laughs> hey, so come here. There's like two points in that face up where you could have finished and you could have been. Look right there. Right yep. That's where you gotta extend this gap. See how tight you are? No yeah. power there, right? See, elbows are too bent. You could pinch, try to pinch a little like he's doing. See how he gets more extended? And this is where he starts to get it. So like... You don't want to be all the way out yeah. here, right? But you want to definitely elongate your body a yeah, little bit. This one, like, here. Rotate, fellas. Yeah. I mean, if you're like this and you're down in this tie-up stance, when you get here and you see you have a lot of it, yeah. start to press back and then you can wrench around, right? right? So you can get up to that point. Yo, this is the match. Yeah. Set. Pinch, Luke. Double jam. You had that, get low. All right, bring it up. Let's do these guys. Set. Early. Shoulders. You guys up. Set. Set. Early. Early. <laughs> yeah. Set! Yeah, you can grab more. Down. Grab more. Set! Three lines. Come on. Early. Early. Alright, ready? Set! Right. Yeah. Come here. Yeah, let's go. Set. Jump. Right. Look at your foot come out. Yeah. Bad, 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 right? You gotta dig in on those toes. It'd be one thing if you were sliding, at least I know you're trying to push him. Get comfy in your stance and ready to drive towards the ball. All right? Jump. Good exit. Down! Get that elbow. Come on. What's going on here? Shit! Hey. Did it go down the line? Not at all. Come here. It's a good assessment. I like it. Right? Look how high that is. You know that he's raking that if he's yeah. standing up. Aim your clamp like if this is the ball, aim another inch or two to the right. Make sense? Yep. Set! You guys both doing stand up on purpose or do you just. I just want practice. What about you? Do you like it better than knee down? What? Do you like it better than knee down? Uh, no. Uh, I don't I'm just trying it out. I feel you. You guys want to watch his. Look at his stance. Look at his elbow bend. See the difference? Yeah. Your arm's already straight. You can't get enough. See, I, I, knew, I could have told you that was going to happen. Look. You got no explosion. Look at him. See how he gets that good top edge turn? That's because his stance is perfect. Right? Down. Let them go. Set. Good. Hey, that was close. But when you get that much of the ball, what can you do to get it all the way in your throat? Right there. So you got to get more down the line, right? Look, look at the gap. See the ball there? See how much gap is between your throat? And look how far you punch out. More this way. So turn your shoulders. Your head goes straight down that line and straight towards him. Make sense? Good job, though. Set. It was definitely early. It was early. Let's go. We can watch. Oh, it's right on. Look now. Watch, is he moving before the sound? Yeah, look. No! Yes! Look. Yes! Yes! No! Yes! Let's go! No, you. <laughs> you guys are refacing it. You guys all should have winners, right? Punches towards his glove. Come on, Joe. Shit! Oh, heads up. Hey, so. If we're facing off, right, and I don't have to get all the way over to the top of it to pull it out, what does that mean that you did? Like right there, you put it in this, you almost put it in the stick, right? And he ripped it out. That means you push forward, right? So what I want you to do is push this way, yeah. Down. 
Okay, no more being lazy. Yep. And a little bit of pressure is okay right there. Set. Let's go, Hinge, get out. See a difference? Now, same thing, what I just tell him. Pop that so you can catch it, because he's pretty good at ground balls. Those mats and George aren't over there. Maybe he beats you on that ground ball, right? Set. Ah, that hurt. Dude, you know I like that move. No, I didn't. You shouldn't. You should know I do that. You got to pinch and get out. You look like too cramped up. Like, you're very tight. You're not getting enough explosion. You got to push off your toes more. You had, right? Yeah. As soon as you have your, you see him going out, drop all your weight over it. Cause you had the right idea, right? You picked your left hand up. You know that he's raking out. Instead of being like this though, so drop your weight over and then it really presses the ground. We've got one and one though. All right, one more. First two people. Set. Three things. You gotta stop raking out on the ground. Still, it would have gone further if he was in the water. I'm giving it to Rock cause I already gave you one. Oh, you got it. Yeah! What do you got? Set! Nice, right hand punch. Same Set! Freeze! Like, oh, man. Now can we... Set! Oh, good time. Oh, that's a hold. Hold over the top. What do you guys think tonight? Yeah. Had a great time, man. Yeah. You guys get better? Yeah. You had fun and you got better? It's a pretty solid night. What do you guys think of the Celtics game tonight? What's going on right now? Is it? You win in five. What do you guys think the score is? I'll tell you how much time's left. Celtics up. Celtics are 29 Cavs. 27 No, 27 Celtics. 17 Cavs are up. Oh, oh man. Ooh. It's not the last five minutes. No, no, I know. Basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions about anything we did? <laughs> so, homework, what is it? Watch the video. Watch the video, right? It's super simple. Watch the video. I want you guys to bring back questions next week. As, as you guys see, now that the season's kind of starting to wind down, more and more people are coming back to training. So, um, we got to continue to prep for the summer stuff because how many guys are going into 10th grade or higher? Probably a quarter of you guys. <laughs> Recruiting starts, right? And for you guys who it doesn't start, there's coaches at all those tournaments. Although they can't actively recruit you 7th, 8th, ninth graders, they still know who the best guys are. They still talk to your club coaches about the older guys, right? So if you guys really want to play at the next level, the prep starts now. All right? So we every Monday next week, um, question for you guys. How many guys would want to do it at 9 o'clock? I know it's super late. Sure. Um, no. But we're not, we're not going to do it on Memorial Day. I want you, if you guys can, go check out the Final Four games. We got really good teams in it. Even in the D2 Finals, Merrimack's in the D2 Finals. Nice Salisbury's going for the 13th. Salisbury's going for the 13th championship for the D3 Finals. That's pretty cool. But if you guys can make any of those games. 13th straight? No, not 13th straight. 13th straight. If any of you guys can watch them on TV, or go to yeah. the games. I highly recommend it. That's I gonna be the to best. What? Well, I'll probably go to the games on Monday. Yeah. I'm rooting for all of But that's the best thing you guys can do to learn. What? I like Albany. Albany is good. They're really good. So hey, make sure you guys watch those games next year. But he's awesome. Yeah. So if you guys can't do next week, we have to do nine o'clock because they have a group in on Tuesday before, and I don't want to do Monday because it's Memorial Day. Um, but the following week, we're on Tuesday again, but we're back at seven thirty. Sound good? So say like, again. Check your emails. Next Social Tuesday, media. this next this coming Tuesday at nine. Nine o'clock. And the following Tuesday at seven thirty. Yeah, I'll put it on email. You guys can always just check Instagram. We'll make sure it's up to date. What? No, no. Just these next two weeks are Tuesday. And then it's Mondays for the rest of the summer. Cool? If any of you guys want to do the stuff, we have stuff in New Hampshire on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It varies. If that's easier or closer. I know some of you guys like Luke. What? Uh, Bedford. Yep. And then 
We're also doing some stuff up in yeah. Maine and probably Western Mass too. Yeah, really. All right, so if you guys want, check the website. <laughs> Anybody didn't sign up online, just make make sure you see me before you leave. Cool. Good job tonight, boys.